Welcome back to the third and final Quick Tips video on the Cubase Mix Console. Let's finish up this Quick Tips series by taking a quick look at a few nice settings that will help us customize how we actually view the tracks and channels inside of the Mix Console and also syncing the Mix Console to the project window. The Channel Visibility Agent lets me choose which channels I see inside of the Mix Console. I can select only highlighted channels, I can hide highlighted channels. I might have tracks outside my project window that have no data, so I can choose not to see them. I can choose to only see tracks with information at the cursor point. So as our project plays, we're only viewing tracks that are relevant to that moment in time. We can choose to only see channels that have information inside of the locators. So this could be handy if we're working on a breakdown and we don't need to see everything else. A track can be bused to different effects and groups and even through the master. So we can choose to only see channels that are connected to the first selected channel. And this shows us exactly what's going on with that channel. You can choose whether to expand your racks when you click on one. You can also have a fixed number of slots and link your racks to your configuration settings. A lot of the menu functionality is doubled up on pop-up menus around the Mix Console, which is great because it means you're not moving your mouse to get to places. For instance, I'm copying and pasting track settings from one track to another. If I go down to the bottom of the mixer and once again right mouse click on my faders, the pop-up menu will let me load a track preset or even save my settings in this track as a preset. If I go all the way down, I can once again click on the channel visibility agent and define which channels I see. You can reset all of your global mixer settings back up in the triangle on the right hand side. Now we can sync our mix consoles to our project window. Back out in the project window, if we go to visibility, there's a button beside it. Let's set sync project and mix console. Now I'm removing the drums from my visibility and you see they're gone from my mix console. Let's now add them back in in the mix console, go back to the project window and you'll see they're visible. So our project window and our mix console can always be perfectly synced together. Last but not least, on the right hand side, we've got our stereo meter. We can go to the loudness meter and analyze the loudness in our project, or go back to the meter and change the meter so it represents different regional loudness specifications. We can then make necessary changes so our projects meet regional loudness requirements. We can also enable the control room, but it's probably best we leave that for another quick tips video.